Hi, it's Ileana here, and today I am going to be talking about my own memory recalls and how self-hypnosis, doing um, past life regression, self-guided meditations, and hypnosis sessions really helped me to figure out my galactic soul origins, where I come from, who I am, what I've done on this planet and outside of it. Um, so in 2013, I had started going on a very interesting life experience journey, learning to be a Native American shaman with my Métis Native American shaman teacher, Leonard Howell, who has pa since passed away several years ago. So I was very lucky to learn with him, um, Native American shaman, shamanism up to level three. And that included past life regressions, hypnosis, um, astral travel, uh, also learning about how to work with nature, how to work with plant medicines, how to work with certain herbs and crystals. So, but my teacher always said, you are able to use your own soul to do the journey to do the shamanic journey with drumming, to do the past life um, regressions and the hypnosis just by using your mind as well as astral travel. So I've never um, needed to use any psychedelics to do my regressions or to do the shamanic journey. I'm just able to take my mind where it needs to go to explore my past lives. Um, I've had past lives uh, as a priest slash architect in Egypt, Calypso, and that was about 80,000 years ago. And he had been building the pyramids, the Giza Plateau pyramids and the Sphinx. And how they were built was using a tractor beam little device that he would hold in his hands and it would stack the blocks, literally the stone blocks that were needed to put the pyramids together. He would literally use, turn on the device and it's like a tractor beam and it would take the pre-cut blocks of stone and the stones were, were pre-cut with laser technology, precision laser technology. So that was already pre-done. And then he would take the levitation device, turn it on, and float the stones to stack them in the geometric shapes of the pyramids. As well, Calypso designed the Egyptian Akashic records, Hall of Records. He had designed these beautiful mazes with maps and the hieroglyphics. So there's about four to six different mazes under the um, Sphinx. So basically, these mazes are under the Sphinx, and it leads to a huge antechamber, which houses the Akashic Hall of Records, the Egyptian one, where um, there's the refractory ruby telescopes um, that can decloak planets, bases, and anything that's hidden with cloaking technology can temporarily, temporarily decloak it. So, um, and it's not easy to find the Egyptian Akasha Hall of Records because these mazes are specifically designed to um, prevent certain people from finding it. So there's maps and hieroglyphic signs and stuff. If somebody can decode those hieroglyphics, they'll find it. Otherwise, it's buried deep underground. So, and there's all kinds of mazes and corridors going to the pyramids themselves that he designed as well. Um, and he was an Egyptian priest and architect. So he knew the mysteries of the Egyptian schools, the mystic schools and the mysteries. I've also had lifetimes on Mars where I was a portal keeper and I would monitor our, all the portal gateways on Mars, um, and my husband had been a warrior priest 
and serving in the pyramids actually. So that was interesting. So I'd seen the pyramids on Mars, just like the ones we have here in Egypt. Um, they were quite typical in the cities actually, because the cities were built around the pyramids. And that was about 500,000 years ago before the decimation of Mars happened. So there was still an atmosphere, there was beautiful thriving cities, portals, um, different humanoid ETs working together on Mars, living together, trading. I've had mermaid lifetimes in Atlantis. I remember working with Atlantean record keepers, the crystals, working in the healing temples. I remember being a mermaid. Um, I remember past lifetimes as ETs, as an El Pleiadian extraterrestrial being who was female and had um, a 16 foot body, blue, light blue body. And um, she had blue blood as well. Uh, there was a lot of plasma in it and it was self-healing. The body could just self-heal and self-regenerate because the blood is very different from our humanoid red blood. Um, there's no really, they don't really have the El Pleiadian body that I was in in that lifetime. It didn't really have red blood cells or white blood cells. It just had pure blue plasma and mixed in with the blood, which is blue as well. So it was white, the, the plasma itself was blue the blood was white, blue mixed in. Um, and she was able to actually bilocate and create energy out of her body to just become pure energy and teleport herself to different planets. So she could also travel as energy. She could have a semi-corporeal body or a full body. Then she could just be pure energy. So it was really interesting to remember those past lives. And I've also remembered uh, working in inner earth, those past lives, um, the stuff about the SSP um, through self-hypnosis. So I've explored many things through past life regression, what I learned from Leonard Howell and hypnosis as well, and learning how to create specific scripts to do that. Um, I've also created past life, self-guided meditation and astral travel meditation. Um, so those can be found on my website, Messages from a Star Traveler, uh, because sometimes you can go on journeys and self-journey as well to do past life, self-guided self -guided meditations. And I've done it the same way as Leonard Howell taught me. So I've just created a digital form of it that people can access easily and work with. Um, so, and it's, record, it's recorded exactly as when I facilitated on the Zoom sessions, is just, um, you can use it as much as you want and experience different um, past lives through the self-guided past life regression meditation. It's worked successfully. So, um, is just seven years of doing past life regressions and about three years of doing hypnosis regressions has been very rewarding for me. And I'm very happy with what I've been able to achieve for myself and to help others with this. It does really work and you really get a sense of who you are as galactic beings or any other humanoid human past lives you've had on earth or anywhere else in the universe. Um, SSP as well. It's, it's amazing what you can um, find out about yourself through past life regressions and hypnosis. It's quite amazing. So I'm very proud of the journey that I've been on. And I just kind of wanted to share a little bit about some of my past lives and what I've remembered um, and what I've learned through the shamanism. So thank you so much and namaste.